He's so cute. A fitting for Mimi Tao, a model with a mission. She has a runway resume and hopes if you see her, you'll say. They see me walk. They will like, I like her catwalk. Just, and don't just, she's trans. Trans. That's right, Tao is transgender, and the La La Love Line loved it, booked her for LA Fashion Week. I heard about the news about her, so I'm interested in her look. So, and I love like transgender by my personal, so that's why I booked Mimi for the finale. Tao booked her first US shows just last year, New York Fashion Week. She's from Thailand. I'm crying. I was crying that time. I feel like, I have been working so hard for this. I met up with Tao during October's LA Fashion Week. Her story is like no other. When I first started modeling, when I was 17 years old, when I left the temple. The temple? It's where Tao went to school as a boy to be a Buddhist monk, but left with a different calling. She identified as transgender and wanted to be a model. My mom used to say to me, if you shoot this way, you are no longer my son. She told her mother, I'm a good person. I didn't do anything wrong. And I'm walk away. And then I heard she cry like so loud in her room. Mimi was determined to make it. And I said to myself like, I'm not going to make her cry again. I, I'm going to make her proud of me. An LA team has backed Mimi Tao, casting director De Jesus Trujillo. As a gay guy, proud to be a gay person. It's hard to open doors, but the more you start knocking and knocking, eventually the door is gonna break. Model coordinator, Ivan Arce. Her walk is simply amazing. It's something that you just can't keep your eyes off. When she walks on that runway, your eyes cannot move. They're focused on her. And Tao got signed by industry leader Slay Models, an all trans agency. Mimi was discovered, spotted at a nightclub. I mean, all I just remember in a sea of gay men were these cheekbones. <laughs> Cecilio Asuncion says Tao has that it factor and more. It's not the exterior, exterior stuff that Mimi offers. She has this very focused and balanced feeling when you meet her. Wow. Yeah, she has this magic. <laughs> Owning this runway meant starting from scratch, from Thailand to Singapore. You hit Singapore with no money. With no money, yes. And the third night, I slept in the public toilet. You slept there? I slept there, in the public toilet. You had nowhere to go? I have no idea where to go. Being trans meant a lot of rejection. Sometimes I got, I got hired because they don't know who am I. But when they find out, they just like, cancel. She refused to give up, kept auditioning. If they say like, oh, you should not go there, they don't want to run, I will go. <laughs> I have worked with beautiful women, and if their drive isn't there, it just, it just dwindles. Really? That's the difference with Mimi, she's hungry. Tao may work in a world away, but is never far from her Buddhist teachings. The temple give me a lot of things, how to deal with the suffering, how to deal with the with, with our mind, you know what I mean? So, more control. As a model, Mimi, you got this. To look through the camera, look through the people, look okay. through the wall, okay. and then walk with confidence. She walks faster than me. I can't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi's mission, to walk away from labels. Just think, we are model, not not put trans or not put like male or female, just, just model.